Is this real or fake? You let me know. Devil Bobby. in front of the house. I get it. I get it, man. You're just gonna stare at each other for like what? You got me. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. I'm gonna keep doing this shit. I'm just gonna stare at him then. Fuck it, right? What the fuck, man? Excuse me. Nada. Are you doing dishes? I hope so. Oh no. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. No. It Sometimes I think my dog isn't human. Okay, first of all, it's midnight. You look scary. It's completely blackout. Can we please go inside and just go to bed? I'm terrified. Sir, you're getting very close to me. Why are you walking like that? No. No, 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 Stephen, we don't even... No, 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 no. Steven, it's time for bed. No. No, I just want to go to sleep. Steven. No, no, no. Why, Steven? <laughs> Why are you stalking me? Guys, you asked for more stalking videos? I'm here yet. Steven, it is 1.03 a.m. Please don't do this. This is not the time, sir. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. You're scaring me. Turn <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hey, Hey,
If you hear this, a skinwalker might be trying to lure you in. Here's why. A mother named Mandy has been documenting a series of horrifying events where someone or something living in the woods has tried breaking into her house in multiple locations. Now, just recently, she posted a horrifying update from her ring camera's notification. It's close to midnight when she hears this. Something can be heard snarling near her camera as it begins to whistle, almost as if this thing is trying to lure her. Mandy writes she would like to know what kind of animal could make these sounds, as this would comfort her more to sleep at night. These vertical blinds, just, they rattled by themselves. Like somebody just walked into them. Um, they're shaking a little bit now, but it's because of the heat and vent. It's adjacent, and they always sway a little bit. Or Baxter, you know, he hangs out. And he moves them. But we're going to try to get it to happen again. James, if you're here, move those blinds again because that was really good. And I didn't get it on tape when it happened the first time. Holy In April of 2020, a kid named Noah decided to go truck camping in the forests of Sun River, Oregon. He was driving down the road when he thought he found a good spot and drove deep into the forest with his truck. His first night there, he was woken up to sounds outside. As he continued listening, he realized they were footprints and from the pattern assumed it was a person. He grabbed his nearby GoPro and started filming. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is, and there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Um, he's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now, and it's like pitch black outside. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see no one was on that road. Which, he's touching my truck. How am I supposed to get him away? He's literally, he's literally knocking. He's literally knocking on my truck. The canopy, the back door is locked. I can never be scared before ever. I don't think he knows that anymore. Whoever was out there knocks on the truck and tries the door handles, all while Noah sits inside, forced to just listen to it happen. Fortunately, he had his doors locked, so no one could get inside. After multiple minutes, footsteps are finally heard leaving. When it got light outside, Noah drove back to the road and back home. Later that morning, he found handprints all over his truck, specifically on his back window from someone trying to see inside, and a lot on his door handles from someone trying to get inside. Um handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that, um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck, uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck, um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around, more handprints trying to get in my truck, um, at least the back canopy was locked, but, um, yeah. That was the result, so. For someone to even have been out there in the first place at that time of night is extremely odd. 
and it couldn't have been a police officer or anything because no one identified themselves. The person didn't even have a light, and this was in the middle of a pitch black forest. No one ever posted an update on the situation, suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog on a trail in Provo, Utah, when he thought he saw a baby bobcat on the trail up ahead of him. He immediately pulled out his phone and started recording, but it wasn't a bobcat, rather it was a baby cougar. The video then shows the mother cougar coming into view. left in a standoff with the cougar as he slowly backs away, trying to scare it off with loud noises. But the cougar continues to follow him, and at times even lunges at him. At one point, Kyle turns his head away from the animal so as not to trip as he's backing up. This prompts the cougar to try and attack, getting within only feet of him. Go away! No! You taste, dude! I'm trying to attack and your eyes are looking away from you! Dude! No, go away! Go away! No! No! Yeah, get away from me. Face. The encounter lasts for an entire six minutes. It ends when Kyle throws a large rock, scaring the animal into running away. Cougar encounters with hikers are extremely dangerous and can often result in a much worse outcome. Had Kyle tried to run or failed to look and sound intimidating, the animal's instincts to chase and commit to an attack would have kicked in. February of 2013, a few residents of a neighborhood in northern Oregon filed reports of strange noises coming from the forest. The noises were described as what sounded like eerie laughter. It was loud and echoed throughout the nearby area. One of the residents that heard the sounds went outside to where they seemed to be coming from and started recording. Some think the noises are being made by foxes or coyotes, but others don't think so, saying coyotes, for example, have a much more canine-like shriek and aren't nearly as loud. It's still unclear when exactly was making the noise that night. On September 6, 2016, a Reddit post was made linking to a video that claimed to feature a weird noise from the woods. Included was text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and heard this loud, really bizarre sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted about 15 to 20 minutes. 
We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower, but can those towers make noises like this? I googled around, but couldn't find anything similar. This is the video. Commenters immediately started speculating what the sound could have been. One of them suggested it could have been the sound of high winds passing through a nearby cell tower, the metal on metal being what created the eerie tone. But the poster replied saying there was almost no wind that night, and even on days when it was windy, he never heard this sound. Another said the sound was extremely consistent with what it sounds like to drill into a strut or support that's made of high carbon steel, but said that it would be weird to be doing this that late into the night. To this day, it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is.